Edward Thomas Tears It seems I have no tears left. They should have fallen, their ghosts, if tears have ghosts, did fall, that day when twenty hounds streamed by me, not yet combed out, but still all equals in their rage of gladness upon the scent made one like a great dragon in blooming meadow that bends towards the sun and once bore hops. And on that other day, when I stepped out from the double-shadowed tower into an April morning, stirring and sweet and warm, strange solitude was there and silence, a mightier charm than any in the tower possessed the courtyard. They were changing guard, Soldiers in line, young English countrymen, fair-haired and ruddy in white tunics, drums and fifes were playing the British grenadiers. The men, the music piercing that solitude and silence, told me truths I had not dreamed, and have forgotten since their beauty passed. Lights Out I have come to the borders of sleep, the unfathomable deep forest where all must lose their way, however straight or winding, soon or late, they cannot choose. Many a road and track that, since the dawn's first crack, up to the forest brink, deceived the travellers, suddenly now blurs, and in they sink. Here love ends, despair, ambition ends, all pleasure and all trouble, although most sweet or bitter, here ends in sleep that is sweeter than tasks most noble. There is not any book or face of dearest look that I would not turn from now to go into the unknown I must enter and leave alone I know not how. The tall forest towers, its cloudy foliage lowers ahead, shelf above shelf. Its silence I hear and obey, that I may lose my way and myself. <laughs>